guys welcome back to another video so it's a brand new month we're into november now so i'm just here with our monthly checklist so you guys know what's brand new for the month and what you kind of need to look out for or check in with over the coming days and weeks so the biggest change this month for anybody who's playing in the northern hemisphere is brand new crafting materials now this is a big big month because this is like the true heart of the fall season now so we have got first up is the mushrooms and they have there is five different mushrooms that you can collect for crafting material you'll find these mushrooms spouting up around the bottom of trees and stumps so keep an eye out for those and of course they come with an assortment of brand new seasonal DIYs which you can get by shooting down balloons and talking to your villagers and then moving and looking ahead to the middle of the month we have also got the maple leaves making a return so these work in this very same way that cherry blossoms do so you'll see them blowing around and you need a net to catch them with and again they are also accompanied with their very own seasonal DIYs that you need to collect so loads of exciting stuff to kind of try and find this month in terms of anybody who is playing in the southern hemisphere there is no new crafting materials or crafting DIYs for you this month you've still got the um, young bamboo that is still available to collect but there's nothing brand new for you guys this month now in terms of the bugs and fish, there's huge changes, uh, more so for the Southern Hemisphere, so it's really exciting for you guys. So in terms of the stuff that's brand new for Northern Hemisphere, there's we've got a few bugs, so we've got the Dame's Fly, we've got the Tarantula, things like that. For the fish, we've got Tuna Fish, the Blow Fish, and a few others. And then the Sea Creatures, we have got Sea Cucumber, the Sea Pig, and also the Crabs are coming in. So... The snow crab and the red king crab are both making an appearance, which is super exciting. In terms of the southern hemisphere, you guys are moving into warmer months now, so there's going to be tons more stuff making an appearance for you guys. So some of the things you need to start keeping an eye out for this month is the there's a lot of new butterflies. So you've got the Queen Alexander butterfly, you've got the Purple Emperor butterfly, You've also got things like the long locusts and the scorpion making a return. So lots of good stuff there. For the fish, you've got things like the catfish, the frogs, the rainbow fish. And then finally moving into the sea creatures, you have got the vampire squid, giant clam and sea urchins. So again, plenty of stuff to keep you busy and keep you on the hunt to, in order to fill that critopedia up. In terms of anything else really for the month, there's no seasonal items at Nooks as I'm doing this, but they have a habit of dropping them mid-month, so if that does happen, I'll be sure to let you know. But yeah, guys, it's an exciting month, especially for us guys who are playing in Northern Hemisphere. We're going to start to see lots of kind of colour changes as well of the trees, really going to get that fall vibe going off so yeah i am excited for the month ahead as always guys i would love to know what you're most looking forward to for the month what's on your hit list to catch or dive for and as always guys hit me up in the comments get involved hit that subscribe button and i will see you tomorrow bye guys